Welcome back to another video here on the Coopacy Channel. And today I'm going to be talking about peated scotch. Yes, I know a lot of people are scared of it and a lot of people may not enjoy it. But today, this video is going to be discussing how to get into it and how to enjoy that scotch. Because some people are, like I said, scared of it, yet it is some great stuff and if you haven't tried it, you're missing out. And I'm not going to really go into detail on how peated scotch is made and how it gets its smoky flavor because there's a lot of great channels out there that do that that have all the details, show you how it's done, and give you great explanations. But today, I'm just gonna show you how to get into it and how to enjoy it. So now let me grab the three main peated scotches. Here's Lafroig. Here's Lagavulin. Now here is the Cult of Arbeck. So you may be wondering why I picked these three distilleries. And yes, they are some of the largest that are out there, but I feel like they are the triple crown or the three major distilleries that are out there that are making peated scotch. They're all great examples. They all have their different flavors and they all each have their cult followings. So now let's get into how you should be exploring and getting into peated scotch. Oh yeah, some beautiful peated scotch right here. But yes, this is kind of a lot and can be overwhelming for a lot of people. I have been drinking scotch for a while now and I've been drinking peated scotch for a while as well. And it's not something you can kind of just pick up and enjoy and get all the flavors out of it. You kind of have to slowly tiptoe your way into it and get used to it and get adapt to that flavor and smell. Some people may actually really enjoy a highly peated scotch for the very first time or they may like something lightly peated. So now let's go into how you should get into peat and how you should explore into it. So there are a lot of different directions you can take to try to get into peat. One of the first ones that I would recommend is try a lightly peated blended scotch. One that I would actually recommend is actually Johnny Walker Double Black or Johnny Walker Black. There are a lot of different other blended scotches that are through that are lightly peated, but make sure you do your research, find one that is lightly peated, something that you can get into it, try to explore and slowly get into it. Then you have the option to go try a lightly peated scotch or a single malt scotch that is peated. Something like Highland Park 12 is a great choice and is highly recommended by a lot of different people to try to get into blended scotches. But then there are some people that really enjoy harsh and very strong flavors and they may actually enjoy starting off by with Lafroy 10, Arbeg, and Lagavulin 16. Yes, a lot of people actually really enjoy just going straight and go balls of the wall literally by trying all that peat. So now you've picked up the bottle or the journey you decided to go, but yes, you can pour it into the glass and start drinking it, but you may not be able to enjoy all those flavors all the time. One of the things that I found to do is to pick it up, try it, smell it, then go drink something else and then come back to it. It's not something you're gonna get all of a sudden and you're gonna get all the flavors and go past that peat and smoke because at first all you're gonna get is that peat you're going to get the iodine and all those flavors you get from a peated scotch. So I recommend starting off very slowly. Try some, then go drink your bourbon, or go drink a different scotch. Try different things, jump around, and try to go back to it and go try to something else. Yes, that is one good way to get into it, but you can also try it now and then wait a week or two and then go back to it over and over again. And yes, I know it may take a long time to get used to a peated scotch. It may take you a few days, a few weeks, maybe even a few months. Just go back and forth, slowly acclimate yourself to it. Because once you start enjoying it, it's going to open up a lot of different doors that are out there. Just go back and forth, slowly acclimate yourself, and you'll really enjoy that stuff. But thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. May the best of your past and the worst of your future. Cheers, guys.